Take a few minutes to teach your learner how to present cases using the SNAPS format. You'll find that the quality of presentations improves for the rest of the rotation. So Stuart, you've been working with me for about a month now, and I find that your histories and physicals are quite good, but you, sometimes you get stuck at the differential and you don't know how to move on. Um, sometimes you want to manage two or three different things, maybe more. And I thought maybe we could go through a new teaching technique. Um, it's called SNAPS, mm -hmm. and it's how I'll want you to present your cases from now on. Okay, so SNAPS actually stands for, um, it's a mnemonic that stands for these parts and we'll go through each of them. Um, the first S is summarize briefly the history and physical. And so it's pertinent information. Um, give me the physical exam findings as well. If, you, if you'd like, you could include in patient-centered aspects. So if you inquired about illness and it's um, required to discuss the case more, then you should introduce that as well. The N stands for narrow the differential. So if you could narrow your differential down to about your top three or even the top two, that mm -hmm. would be good. Um, so you don't need to give me sort of a list of ten anymore the way that you were doing before. Um, the next uh, step is analyze, A is analyze, and it's analyzing the differential. So comparing and contrasting one to the other. And I'd recommend that you use parts of the case. So if there's something that leads you more to think about one differential versus the other, tell me what those things are as you go along. The P is probe the preceptor by asking questions. So if there's things about the case management that you're not sure about, mm -hmm. or if you're not sure if the x-ray is the right way to go, or if you're thinking about medication choices and you don't know which one works better or which one I like to use, that's when you should be answering or asking me those questions. Okay. okay? Um, the second P is for plan management. So I would expect that at your stage you would be able to plan the management in the room with the patient. So find out what they want and you decide what you might like and then come up with a reasonable plan between the two of you. Um, and then the last S in SNAPS is select. Select a case related issue for self-study. Um, this doesn't necessarily need to be with every case presentation but there might be one thing that you and I say, gee I don't really know what to do with that. And that might be the one thing that you go and look up for the following day or a couple days from now. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you this sheet because it'll help prompt you while you go through each case. Sure. And why don't you try it with your next patient? Okay. Okay. Sure.